This is the Corsair Vengeance uh, DDR4 we're currently offering the LPX sub-brand. It comes with a very nice heat spreader. Um, they're available in single packages, they're available in dual packages and in quad packages. They come in 4 gig or 8 gig. Um, they start from um, DDR 2400 MHz, which uh, is a bit higher than the, the base DDR4. The base DDR4 is the 2100 megahertz. The nice thing is the, the same brand, same kind of packaging is available all the way up to 3200 megahertz. For um, guys that like to set up their own setups, what's very convenient is on the Corsair RAM, they've actually got a little sticker at the back here where it shows you your voltage to set in the BIOS the frequency you can set it to, and actually the individual latencies you need you you need to set it to to achieve the, the frequency on the package. Um, something to know with RAM, be careful not to set your voltage too high, because uh, you can really get the RAM very, very hot, and stick to what the manufacturer says, and they should really know what, uh, what you're doing on that. Another thing uh, which people often don't understand with RAM is it's almost more important than your clock frequency, like this one's 2400 megahertz, is how many channels of RAM you're running. If you're looking at sort of the lower end um, i5s and i7s, they're typically dual channel motherboards, which means you can run it, there's two channels of RAM from the CPU, which means if you put a second DIMM in, you get double the RAM bandwidth. But um, so the higher end boards, which um, typically the, the i7s, which start from 800, the 800, the something 800 or something 900 i7s, typically can run quad channel RAM. So you can actually have four separate channels running into the CPU, which gives you a lot of extra bandwidth. But those are much more expensive setups, um, setups to use. What we use in our, our basic set, basic um, gaming PCs, we normally start with one 8 gig DIMM, where you're not using both those channels, but that gives you a very nice, easy upgrade to a 16, 16 gig dual channel setup, which is what we would normally recommend. Uh, 8 gig RAM can sometimes be a little bit on the low side. 16 gig, you're normally fairly, fairly safe with most setups. If you um, really want to have a lot of RAM, 32 gig is nice. I use that in my personal computer, but it is really only certain situations where you require that much. And 64 gig um, at the time of making this video, very few applications where you would actually benefit from that.